Hello and welcome. My name is Richie and I have just managed to get on the servers. They have been down all day after the Paladin update. So now I'm going to create a video for you, which is the first impressions uh, of the Paladin. Uh, I'll be playing for 30 minutes and seeing what it looks like. Uh, so let's get stuck into it. I've just created the account. Um, my name on this one is Crid Games instead of Richie, so it matches the YouTube channel. So let's begin by tapping the blank area. So we've got the quest objective, so let's just get stuck into that a minute. Let's just do a few of the normal attacks to see what it looks like. Um, here we go, we'll follow through, just keep continuing the quest as everybody has to do. As you can see, there's actually no one else here at the moment. It is very, very quiet. Uh, let's spam a few of these abilities. Once I get into it, um, out of well, out of this first little pre-quest bit, I will go onto the mainland and uh, go through all of the abilities, everything that you can do with the Paladin, um, and then a few of the new updates as well and, and what's come into play. Uh, so, let's continue with this quest. Uh, no idea what these abilities are yet, it's only letting me look at the settings as we are running through this trial part. So let's just run on in. Okay, can we get stuck on to the next bit? I think this takes about five minutes in itself to do, maybe just a little bit longer, but it really doesn't matter as long as we can get stuck in and show a good bit of content. So. Here we go, Crid Games. You can see my name. Let's go. Let's run. Let's sort all of these out. Okay. All right. Running over. Oh, we, there's another Paladin that's just started. I gotta say, I do like the look of it from the start. It does look pretty cool. So let's just keep running. Sort that out. Another thing with the update, I will add as well. Uh, it has allowed us to create. A lot more characters as well on a server. Um, I did see uh, just quickly looking at it up to about six. Um, there's possibly more. So here we go we've unlocked another skill as well. So come on, come on. I'm so impatient with this bit of it. I just like to get stuck into the main content. Okay so let's run on over. Now let's bash some of these abilities. Okay, so as you saw, there was a bit of a healing ability there as well. Okay, so what's this one? Just seems to be a bit of a strike. Is this? Here we go. That's a bit of a group healing ability. So we'll learn about that in a minute. Can I get out of the way of this? No, I can't by the looks of it. I'll have to quickly pop a healing potion there. Keep going. Here we go. We'll just get out. Okay, let's spam some of these abilities a bit more. Keep going, keep going. How long will this take? Uh, another healing one again. Seems to be doing quite well so far. Look at this beast. Come on, it's too... That's the only thing I don't like with, uh, well, with warrior classes and a class like the Paladin is that obviously if you are a bit too far away then you can't attack the uh, the enemy in front. It would be, well, I don't want to say it would be nice. I mean, you've got the chains on the warrior, which is good as it just pulls enemies in. Um, but it is really quite overpowered in PvP, especially when the reset can be done in about one and a half seconds. Uh, not really too much of a fan of that when I'm against them. It's just, as I'm a ranger primarily, I just find myself trying to kite them and run away, really. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's keep knocking these. Come on. Okay. Got to keep remembering to use these abilities. It's just so bad because I don't know what they really do at the moment. Oh, get out of the way of that. Okay, follow him down. Okay, what's this? Defeat the corpses of the demons. Okay. Here we go. Or well, the corpses that are under the demons' control, I should say. Maybe if I try and kill all of these first. There we go, the healing ability. Good thing about that healing ability, as you saw then, although it seems to be healing, it's also dealing damage as well, uh, which, you know, is it could potentially prove extremely useful, 
especially for something like the elemental leaders. That's one thing that where it could be useful. Um, God knows whether it's it, it may even become quite efficient just to use a a mystic for healing and a team of paladins at the moment. Uh, but we'll have to see how the game is set out. No idea what the you know max sort of DPS is going to be that you're going to be able to hit on hit with a paladin. That's all the mystery. So here we go. We're coming up to the final boss now in the uh, in the uh, what should I call this? I don't know. In the practice island or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to say. Now I won't skip this scene just so that you can see what's happening. Here we go. So she's killed all of the knights. She ish. Okay. Now let's run on up and let's start attacking. Okay. So got a bit of a too far away thing then. I'm going to be using this healing. I don't know if that then just put a small shield on me. I think it might have done. Okay. Shadow current. Just watch out the way of that. Now let's pay attention here. Do I get a shield? Uh, no, but that attack looked really cool though. Okay. Run on over to her. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. That looked terrible. Okay. Keep on attacking. Keep on attacking. Oh, I love that. I, I do love the effects of that attack. It does look really quite cool. Okay. Keep going. Oh, the health. The health. Oh, no. She's going to summon her friends now. So here we go. Let's quickly go over and finish her off if I can. Unless I die before. I might just drink a healing potion. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. Okay. Let's go on over. Oh, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Come on. Here we go. Let's use the healing straight after. Come on. There it is. And she is down. Ha. Huh. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. That did take a little bit longer than I thought, actually. We're talking about seven minutes there. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's finish this scene. Okay, and we're sailing over to the I Rive. Here we go, with a load of crabs surrounding us. Okay, is it going to wake up, or has it frozen? Oh, okay, all right, we're in. I thought that we'd frozen then. So, what do we want to do? Your device performance is high. We want to go ultra high. Okay, so, before we do this, let's have a look at what we can. I don't think we have access to looking at the skills yet. Um, that's fair enough. As you can see, there are quite a few paladins in the area. Uh, rewards, we'll just claim a few bits for what we can. Um, it looks like it's going to be a case of getting stuck straight into this. Okay, so have we got any more uh, attributes that stand out? Not that I can see there. Um, and not that I can see there either. Uh, okay, so they've got the PvP damage increase rate now that they've introduced down there. And the damage decrease. Uh, by looks of it then it's probably going to be sort of the all the physical uh, for the paladin just much like it is the warrior um, okay that's everything there uh, I think the best thing we can do is get stuck straight into the quests just for now uh, until we unlock the skills which shouldn't be too long um, and then we can have a look at what we're able to do as a paladin if I don't start spamming abilities on the way there Okay, so this first little quest that we do, it's just a case of, I think it's something to, is it the crabs? Yeah, it is. Okay, so here we go. Let's quickly destroy them. Come on. How long is this going to take? It's going to be so hard if everyone's, there, there's so many people here. <laughs> okay, I suppose that's the thing. I really want to try and get into this ASAP. Oh, we've unlocked the skills. Okay. Now this is what we're interested in seeing. So as the Paladin, what can we do? The first ability is the Torah Sword. So you summon several swords of Torah to fall from the sky to attack single target, each one dealing damage. This attack removes the shield effects on the target. Wow. Okay, so possibly massively overpowered for PvP right there. When the Mystic puts a shield on the tank... It may be the case then that it just gets ignored if you've got a Paladin. Uh, Divine Guidance, you deal area damage to nearby energies. 
enemies and you heal three nearby allies with the lowest HP percentages. Now that is pretty cool as well. Uh, raining sword attack nearby enemies dealing damage multiple times. Okay, so there's a bit of AOE for you. Uh, the Covenant Sword. Uh, concentrate the faith of the paladins in one sword dealing damage to the target with a swing of a giant sword. Ignites the ground beneath the target with holy light dealing continuous damage to enemies standing on it. So not only is it your massive single target hit by the looks of it, it's also going to, to inflict AoE damage again, which brilliant for raids. Uh, watch Judgment then, which we'll unlock. Summon a giant light pillar from Mandar to judge the target. Grants a healing effect to allies while dealing damage and giving additional healing reduction to uh, effect to the enemy. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, Rampart of Guardian. Raise your shield, emitting holy light to deal damage to nearby enemies and silence them. Cool stuff. Maybe if you're more of a tanky paladin. Um, shield of Order, consume 10% of your maximum hit points to throw your shield to deal damage at the target, interrupting the target's spell casting and silencing the target. Gain an effect that restores your HP continuously. Okay, so sacrificing a bit of your HP for dealing a lot of damage. And it also restores that HP. Awesome. Glory of Paladins. Uh, gain Glory of Paladins for yourself, which can deal... Extra damage with normal attacks, increase your max HP and give you a chance to randomly regen HP if attacked. Oh, seems very overpowered. Uh, endurance of Truth, which is the last one. So leap towards the target and create Durance of Truth around the target. While in the Durance, the Paladin will gain an armor bonus and continuous HP regen. Enemies will receive continuous damage and silence if they move out of the Durance. Now, the, okay, it just becomes more and more OP by the sound of it. Um, we'll see. We'll have to see what happens there. Uh, the next thing that we're going to want to do after we just go through these quests is... I don't know when the path is unlocked, but hopefully we'll get to look at the path very soon because that's going to open a lot more um, information up with regards to the Paladin. Okay, so let's keep on getting through all of this. We just go here, we just add another sword. Okay, come on. We can I'm gonna keep I gotta keep my simple sword. I want that. Let's remember it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get stuck in here. Okay, talked in we're, we're talking to the captain. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Are we done? Have we talked to the... Okay, we have to actually complete that. All right. Uh, retrieve his case. Now, let's be careful with this. What else have we done? Ah, we can view more character info. Okay, run away, run away. Okay, let's have a look at the character info. Okay, well, we know about this anyway, but we'll just follow it and do it. And we'll follow this. Yes, we do like you on Facebook. Okay. Um, brilliant stuff. Don't sit down, we're trying to run through it. Okay, so let's pick this one. This is the correct one. As you can see, I've set up a few accounts in the past, so I do know most of these. Okay, let's complete the quest. Oh, little shockwave there. Come on, let's go around. Won't be too long now until we unlock the mount, the Hawkbill mount. Unless they've given us a special mount. I did hear there was going to be... Um, there was actually going to be a, a new mount that was released for Halloween. I know they've released a few Halloween events, which I'll touch into on a, another video, uh, which I upload on my main account, which is Richie. Okay, we can skip this to be fair. It's nothing that important. Okay, we'll just keep completing and running through to try and get this done as quickly as possible. It wants us to open the map. We've got to follow these little things just so it's done and it stops prompting us. Right, well, we know what the map looks like anyway, so that's fine. Accept the quest with this. Uh, okay, it's showing these little things which we fly on everywhere. I say little, but they're quite big. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff. All right, now let's defeat the patrol. Okay, so this we can do. We know that's healing. And now let's do the massive sword. 
you can see then it's just absolutely knocking down his hit points. You can see how in later levels that is going to be extremely powerful. Okay, now let's run through and get on the next bit. I could actually uh, have a look in Beasts just to see if it gives us the new mount. Ah, uh, okay. The Celestial Swing Set. That's a mount. Oh my god, and they did release the unicorn. Okay, that's interesting. The mount merchant for that. Oh, okay, all right, they've released a few new bits. That'd be interesting. I tell you what, I do like the unicorn. The the swing is just absolutely ridiculous, but the uh, the unicorn's quite interesting. Um, okay, let's complete this one. Okay, uh, actually, I'll quickly go and do the, uh, the Surge Wind Valley Charge. Oh, no, I won't. I don't want to do it yet. Let's get the mount first because then I can run through it all with the mount, I mean. That way we can charge on in and hopefully get some early kills. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, now we have to feed the Hawkbill. Come to me, Hawkbill. And then I can summon you. Okay, good. Yeah, now let's ride it. Okay, we are riding. Okay, zooming in and out. Yeah. Left and right, okay. Yeah, and we can zoom out a bit for you. Okay, it's, I feel like it's getting me to do the same thing here. <laughs> Definitely already did that. Okay, so keep running. Why am I running faster than that person? That's strange. Okay, all right. Brilliant, complete. Use, Bosch, and there we go. We've got our Hawkbill mount. Um, I will do this Dryad quest soon, but let's go into the uh, Surgewind Valley Charge. Shouldn't take too long, only takes a few seconds to pair up here. Okay, come on. Here we go. So let's go on in and do this. Now let's have a look. What does it look like? Okay, is anyone going? Is it just me? All right, it's just me that's charging at the moment. Oh, no, I've got the team behind me. They just didn't feel like running straight away. Now, remember that healing ability, that's going to come in very useful. The only thing is here, I don't really want to be at the front of the pack. I am, because I don't think anyone's really got their mounts yet, but I'd rather not, only because I'm going to be running into the archers, which can hit me from a distance, the mystics that can hit me from a distance, and obviously the warriors with their chains attack, and they're just going to pull me straight into it. So... I hate to be <laughs> I hate to be a noob about this, but I would rather that all of these guys just charged in a little bit before me. Here we go, so they're all coming towards us. Is that an actual player? Here we go, so let's go on in now. And now let's do this attack because this is gonna be our AoE. So here we go, should be able to get a nice little bit on here. Heal up. I am absolutely getting destroyed. Have I managed to get a kill? I don't know. Can't do anything. I'm frozen. Heal me. Oh, okay. So now we're going to have to wait. We can respawn uh, at res point. So here we go. Okay. It looks like they are absolutely destroying us. Unfortunately, I think all of mine are just automated characters. Or are they? I don't know. They may be other players. If they are, we're doing absolutely terrible and we need to pull our finger out. But I could not hit them to save my life then. Okay, so another team player's on a rampage. Okay, so let's just now do this AoE. Again, it might be because I'm quite a low level, so I can't really do a lot here. Uh, we'll keep going. There's that blimmin' snoob again. Oh, wouldn't let me drink my healing potion even. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so you know you guys don't see an awful lot of PvP content from me. This is why. <laughs> okay, so let's go on the ranking here. Yeah, I mean, okay, so I was best on my team. It just so happened that I had a team that weren't really doing much there. But that's how it is. Anyway, let's leave the battlefield. Uh, let's go on to the next. Okay, tap to close. And oh, I've, I've got to actually win, the win at Surge Wind Valley. Okay, that's fine. Should I give it another go? No, I won't. i tell you what, I will do that if I can. Nope, I'm getting sucked into it. Okay, I'll have to do it now. 
I was going to say, if not, I'll just do it later um, so that I can get on with a few quests. I really want to see the ranking system, see how that all works, uh, see what we can do when we get more abilities as well, see all the different paths that we can go down. I have seen a few previews. I would just like to look at it in a bit more detail, ideally. But anyway, let's run on in. Okay, come on, team. Guys, what is going on? Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Maybe if I get off the mount and try and blend blend in. Okay, so just one of the gang. I am just one of the gang. Just doing the charge. Nope, I'm not a front runner. I always had it in my head to be an archer and kind of hang out from the back. So here we go. Let's absolutely smash this. This looks a bit better. Okay. It's funny how it works though. It's just sometimes it can just be really uneven. It does suck. I've got to try and pay attention to what I'm doing here. Okay, now let's smash that AoE because if we can... Oh, go over there to where the person actually is. Look at that. <laughs> A dodge. <laughs> okay, continue, continue. We've got more over here. Okay. Is that everyone? Are they all dead there? Yes, they are. Okay, so let's continue running. With this, it's just a shame the way that it works. Uh, brilliant, getting WhatsApp notifications. Okay, let's just smash that guy. All right, brilliant, absolutely destroyed that one. Again, I hate it when it counts as assists when you're doing this, but we'll just have to uh, take that. Okay, come on, smash him. Where's the AOE going though? That's the only thing, I can't, uh, I'm struggling to see. Maybe it's just because there's so many people and so many bats flying around <laughs> that it's really hard to see what uh, was going on. All right, brilliant. And you, come here. Yes. Okay, and you, come here. Oh, bosh. Okay, there we go. All right. So, all done. Uh, what was the ranking on that one? Okay, so I ranked top on that one. There we go. That's what we like. Um, all right, so there we go. Done on the battlefield. Very nice. And 8,000 healing as well, apparently. So you can see the Paladin in comparison to everyone else on here. I mean, it's just... When you get it right by the looks of it, then it just absolutely powers above everyone. Maybe, maybe that is an early sign to how OP it actually is, but... We, you know, it is, it's very early doors, it is hard to tell. We're just going to have to keep playing and see how we get on. Okay, so there we go. All right. Brilliant stuff. Let's run up here. We have to kill the dryads. I'm not sure when yet I'm going to be unlocking this, uh, these things. All right, all good. Oh, that's cool. What's this then? Crystal bucket, a bucket containing various amount of crystals. Ah, and what's this? Hashi's ride, a mount token. Ah, okay, all right, and we got those draw cards, I'll do those. Oh, and we got two lucky tickets. I actually forgot about the lucky tickets and that they've all been upgraded. Hopefully this can all be done on auto in a minute. Let's firstly uh, use the crystal bucket. What do we get? Uh, anyone see where that went? I certainly didn't. Okay, all right, well, I'll have to watch that back and see if anything happened with that. Uh, definitely didn't see any crystals, unless it's a currency thing. Let me have a quick look, actually. Uh, currencies. Oh, okay, I, I think I gained 20 crystals. All right, maybe it was then. Okay, so now let's use these draw cards. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's have a look. So, obtain a few different bits here, alright, use the next one, and draw cards, it's just going to be a case of getting silver in here, so uh, 128,000 silver there, and 88,000 silver there. We're going to keep completing these quests in the background, just whilst using a few different bits. Uh, Hashi's Ride, okay, let's use this. Let's have a look then, go into Beasts here, what is it? 
Oh my god, what is this? Okay, alright, well that's incredibly interesting. It <laughs> we'll summon that again in a minute as soon as we're done with uh with picking these. Um I'm gonna skip that, it's just a dryad flying over or whatever it is, a death cap I mean. Really smash this and done. Come on, come on, come on. Kill it. It's gone. <laughs> okay. So uh, we'll go over here. Just complete this bit quickly. Okay, and now let's accept and find the old man. Okay, so yeah, we are on our broom. I tell you what, that's really quite cool. There's a cat hanging off the end of it, it's a pumpkin. Now is that animal abuse? Or is that no, it's got a harness. Oh that's fine. Its eyes are exceptionally big. Uh but there we go. Okay, let's complete the quest. Spar with the old man. Don't know he's that old. Okay, didn't even need to use my powerful attack there. Alright. Uh chest of valuables. Oh yeah, we can do scar planes. I tell you what, let's do that then. Let's uh get involved in the first raid in a minute. Let's just have a look at these lucky tickets first quickly. Oh, we're on oh there's a lot of new things on here. So daily loot. Oh daily loot is not unlocked yet. What's this? Acquire one hundred activity points to reveal available loot chests. Ah, now that's interesting. Okay. So that really is quite fascinating. Uh exceptional wisdom. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Alright, complete the quests. Uh, we've got to do scar planes. Uh, we've got this. Okay. Yeah. Raid, scar planes, auto match. Let's go. Oh, as we can see, there are lots of paladins. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's good. I think I just joined. Yeah, at the right time there. All right. Let's get stuck in. So let's watch out. This does hurt when you're a low level. Really, I should save the, uh, the healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. We've got a few level 45s on the team anyway, as they're just doing it for their dailies. Good we didn't die. And use the Guardian's gift. Uh, Halloween gift. Oh, I didn't even see. I got too excited. Dawn, dawn items. What is this? Have we got cosmetic items now? Oh, okay. No, it's just it's just different gear. All right. Very cool. All right, I'll look into that as soon as we're done with this. Let's just smash all these out the way. I was lucky to pick up a team with the level 45s on just for the start. It means that we can obviously smash through this raid really quickly, really easily. Come back. Come back. Rawr. Nope. Is it too far away? Ah, there we go. There's the AOE. And the 42s you can see there, that's all the AOE just taking effect, which is quite nice. Come back, come back. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah. Okay. Let's just kill him. Come on. Good old big smack. Maybe we should be using that smack first, I reckon. Don't even need to kill anything on that. Very easy stuff. All right. So yeah, we are getting those uh, gold chests. I did read on the update that we would, the Halloween gold chests, if um, for completing scar planes, I believe it is. It's not for everything. So there we go, more gold. See, that gold's racking up quite quickly, though. Got a good set of gear on us. Uh, we'll just leave the team a minute. Okay, um, I do like the game, but I don't want to rate. All right, let's have a look again at these lucky tickets. So we have, well, the first that daily loot, we'll go into that. We'll get 100 activity points on this a bit later. Uh, we have this rare horseshoe. Going to be able to use that for different things. Shield of Glory, uh, all sorts really. Gem box, golden nails, We're making platinum horseshoes. Okay, so they're going to be able to be exchanged. Uh, any new items? The honor chest. Good luck at getting five of those for uh, for the main. We'll see. Uh, materials, what have we got here? That's all still the same. Food and potions, still the same. Weekly specials, uh, still the same from what I can see. All right, let's just play these lucky tickets quickly. 
What do we get? Another lucky ticket, but that means obviously an extra 100,000 silver. Another lucky ticket. I can keep going all day on this. Oh, two nails. What is that? Okay, another lucky ticket. Keep going, keep providing the silver. Okay, and what's this? A gem box. Okay, yeah, I'll gladly take that. All right, so we can quickly use these to get 500,000 silver. Not bad for my level. Now let's use these golden nails because it's going to take us, actually, firstly I'll just pick up this quest uh, whilst I'm here. And then I will look at going and using these nails just because then we can see what the uh, new rewards are. Just collect these prosperous gifts. What do we get? Okay, five magic stones and one more magic stone. The first magic stones of the uh, of the character. Awesome. Got a jade stone as well. That can go in the gear in a bit. Okay, let's accept. Go. Guardian's gift. A level 20 ray stone. Cool. Oh, that was saying. I almost forgot about that gem box. We can open that in a second once we get through this. I'm going to skip that. That was nice and quick. All done. Alright, let's go through here. Complete quest. A dawn sword. Okay, cool stuff. And now here we go. We're starting to unlock what we want to see. So equipment. Let's just quickly equip that. Just as it's asking us to. If I get... Oh, no, I can't. It's not even... <laughs> I'm not even a high enough level. Okay, Prosperius himself. Okay, let's accept. And let's keep going. I think this video is going to run on a bit longer than I had anticipated. Alright, let's go. Enter Guide Guild. Uh, no, I don't. It's going to keep prompting me, but I don't want to join a guild at the moment. I've got one that I'll go, I'll go on into. Okay, complete and accept. Is there any way that I can just skip this and not join a guild? I don't think there is. I'm just going to have to just auto-join for now so it gets it out of the way. Uh, whilst this is going on. Uh, the Polish Ghost Guild. Okay, so that's who I've joined. I've put a ring up for sale. When did I do that? I don't remember doing that. Okay, let's just... Is this sword... Oh, what's this? That sword is terrible. I don't want that. Okay, the sash is good. Um, can I use any of this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can I... I don't think I have any gem slots at the moment. Nope. What we'll do, we'll use this gem box, see what we get. Level 20 moonstone. I'm not going to be needing that. I am not a mystic. And dismantle that. Get some silver there. Okay. More achievements. Okay. Let's follow Floriana. All right. Brilliant. Let's accept the next. Can I view yet? I wonder if I can. Okay, let's just quickly accept these. Why did it show I could accept that then? I've not paid for anything. Okay, let's keep going. So do this part. I just want to know in the skills, can I see yet? No, I can't. Okay, I'm going to have to make a separate video as well on a, on a real sort of introduction to the Paladin. Um, this is just a playthrough, which is fun. If you guys would like to see more playthroughs in the future as well, please let me know. Um, I don't normally make them. I tend to just make a video that's fairly short and to the point. Uh, but I thought seeing as the, the uh, new character has come out, it would be quite interesting to just play through it and, uh, and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Let's just fly back down. All very interesting and beautiful. Okay. Are we going to land? Yes, we are. All right, right near the training dummies. But this is good as well because I can use uh, the nails and see what happens. So I'll just accept this quest quickly. Uh, all right. And now before I go on and accept anything else, let's use the nails, see what they can be exchanged for and what we will eventually be able to buy. So here we go. We go on to the festival box shop, is it? Um, all right, well, yeah, that just shows the boxes. But if I actually go into the koala store, then here we go. Yeah, we can have a look at what the uh, what the horseshoes can buy. So we've got the... 
Is that supposed to be angles? Or would it be angels? Well, it definitely says angles wings. Well, that would be quite funny if that was a spelling error. Not sure. All right, so angles wings. Okay, so there's some wings for you. Shield of glory, which uh, should be able to put on your back. Blessing card. Uh, Shield of glory for the day and then divine essence there. And then obviously all the other things as well. Um, here we go. So the wings, you can buy a shining brooch, all that sort of thing. Uh, celestial swing set. Okay, cool, cool. And one day, all right, so just loads of different things that we can purchase in there, and then well, it goes on stuff that we already know about. Um, let's just have a look here. Oh, okay. Ah, so they finally made a use for the horn so that we can go on there and we can actually do quests like that. Okay, all right, so they did create a use for it. I was wondering if they would. Um, let's just have a look here. I'm just seeing if there's anything I've missed off of the off of the bat here, but I don't think so. Uh, I can. Oh, there's so many quests that I can accept. Actually, let's go to something a bit closer. Get on my broom. Don't run. There we go. Subline. All right. Let's get into this. Okay, sentry route. We can just get stuck in with all of it, actually. Okay. What I'll do, I think I will actually end the video here. That is, you know, it's been a good introduction to uh, to what we can expect from the Paladin. I'll release another video as soon as possible on uh, on the different things that you can actually do with the Paladin in terms of the different routes that you can go down. Um, just to, you know, so you have a bit more information on that. Um, and then you can, you know, get a good, good sort of understanding of what it's all about and what you might like to go into. But I think that if we end it here, this is a good place. It's coming up for like 30, well, we're on like 37 minutes. Okay. That's absolutely flown by. So yeah, I will end the video here. Um, let me know what you would like to see from the Paladin. I've still got lots of content I'm looking to produce from the Ranger as well. Um, you know, I, I hope that you've enjoyed the intro. Uh, let's, uh, l let me know if you guys have got any tips on the Paladin. I'll be very, very interested to hear what they are. It's, uh, it's certainly an interesting class and looks like it's going to bring a really good, uh, variety to the game. It should be in, it should make PVP quite a bit more interesting as well. Uh, but that is everything. I will, as usual, I'll just put a few videos on the screen now, which you can choose to watch if you want. I'll put some guides. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of new players. Um, that is everything. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video, and goodbye.